Good evening, everybody. Hope you've had a fantastic day and are having an even better evening. It's Canada Day for me and for the rest of us here in Canada, and it's been stupid hot all day. Like, 30 degrees, very sunny, no wind, you know, a perfect day, a except for cameras. Turns out my little Sony here uh, doesn't like the heat, so it stopped working about five minutes after I got down to the park. <laughs> Which probably was okay, because there was a ton of copyright music playing very loudly all day, and I had a blast. As much as I don't like people. <laughs> so, go figure. Anyways, uh, the fireworks, which are scheduled for a little over an hour from now, are supposed to be pretty good this year. I haven't seen a fireworks display in a long time, because I usually go to bed long before now. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting old. Anyways, um, there's a few spots along West Side Road that are perfect vantage points. However, uh, I wanted to go for a little drive first. Not a very long drive, because fuel is in short supply here. It actually took me two tries to fill up and it was $151. So I don't really want to use up that fuel kind of unnecessarily. But I'm already over here, and I intend to see the fireworks, but we're going to go for a little drive first. So buckle up and enjoy. Some absolutely beautiful colors in the sky this evening as the sun sets. And I very thoroughly enjoyed that little drive down West Side Road. <clears throat> Found a car that was keeping well enough ahead that it was kind of fun, but not excessive in the speeds, <clears throat> obviously. This is a Cadillac. It's not a Corvette or a Mustang or it's not a sports car is what I'm saying. As you can hear, there are sports cars driving up and down the road though. Wow, does that ever make me miss mine. Awesome timing. Such a glorious V8 noise. But he's just used probably five dollars in fuel to go from down there to up there. Because <laughs> I wasn't kidding about how expensive fuel's gotten. I just paid two dollars and fifty-seven cents for a liter of premium fuel. Absolute insanity. And there's none to be had. Like, three different stations that I drove by to get here had big signs out front saying they were out. Completely out of fuel. That, that does not bode well for the fact that it's a long weekend here in Canada. And I wanted to get out and go for a drive over the weekend. I don't think that's going to happen now. Simply for financial reasons. And the fact that I can't be sure I'll be able to get fuel if I need it and when I need it. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, a little bit of a breeze just came up there. Sorry about that. We got a little breeze that came up there. And I happened to notice that beautiful 
cloud way out there on the horizon. There's a fair amount of traffic for, well, what is it? It's got to be about quarter to ten by now. Yeah, we're about quarter to ten and there's a lot of traffic on this road right now. I would have expected most people to be heading towards Kelowna to watch the fireworks display, but no. More traffic is headed that way towards Vernon rather than that way towards Kelowna. So, anyways. I'm gonna jump back in the car and head back down the road to the spot that I intend to watch the fireworks from. I've just discovered that you can fully defeat the traction control and stability control in this car. Interesting. <laughs> so it didn't like that. Even with everything off, I'm not sure if you saw it, but it started flashing at me and re-engaged the traction control. Kind of what I expected to have happen on rock gravel. In the snow, it does however do a donut. So we'll just have to wait for that. Alright, so just parked up here significantly further from the lake than I wanted to be. But of course, every single little parking spot all along the way there was totally full of cars. So we're going to take a quick little walk down to the lake. I'm going to enjoy the fireworks. Now, with the camera not being set up for this kind of filming, I'm not certain any of what I'm about to film is going to come through at all. So I'm going to wrap it up here. If I manage to get anything of the fireworks, they'll come after, and yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. But thank you very much for coming along on today's little Canada Day adventure. I hope you enjoyed the brief little excursion down West Side Road. If you did, please leave a like on the video and subscribe, and we will catch you on the next adventure.